Welcome to this morning's program on what you should know about flying helicopters. This program takes you into the realm of rotary wing flight and brings the exciting world of helicopters into your living room like you've never seen before. This program will thoroughly prepare you for the thrills and challenges of helicopter flight and help you master the aerodynamic concepts along the way. You'll experience all the required flight maneuvers and learn all the information required for the helicopter portion of your FAA private pilot exam. Your host is Rob Ryder, an instrument rated pilot who is a real aviation enthusiast. Rob serves as announcer for various air shows and also hosts many other sporties video programs. Now, let's join Rob as he begins to explain what you should know about flying helicopters. Hello, I'm Rob Ryder, a fellow aviator and your host for this video program. We're going to introduce you to the world of helicopter flight and give you a leg up on your helicopter rating. The FAA in licensing helicopter pilots considers it a rating on the private commercial or airline transport pilot certificate. You do not have to have an airplane rating prior to getting a helicopter rating. So for those of you using this program as a ground school for your helicopter written test, you'll still need to get a recreational or private pilot study course, such as Sporty's Interactive Flight Training course, available online and on DVD. Much of the information we'll give you is highly technical, so stop and review this video as often as necessary. We'll introduce you to the most common training helicopters, their uses and their component parts. We'll review rotary wing aerodynamics, helicopter flight planning, and show you how to pre-flight a Robinson R-22, one of the most popular training helicopters. We'll follow with demonstrations of basic helicopter maneuvers and end up with some special procedures involving navigation and operations. Throughout all this material is the information you need to pass the written exam for the helicopter rating. We will not identify specific questions and their word-for-word -word answers because those are updated from time to time. We will cover the basic principles of helicopter flight as those remain the same. This program is not flight instruction. I cannot stress enough that you are going to need personal quality flight instruction before you will be ready to go out and fly helicopters. Although we'll be showing you generally how some maneuvers are performed, this is only to demonstrate certain aspects of helicopter flight and to show you what to expect from your flight instruction. After watching this video, you'll know what to expect in the cockpit as well as in theory. What you'll be seeing in this video are real helicopters in actual operation enhanced with 3D visuals. One final special procedure you should be aware of is the quick stop. This is used in training because it requires a high degree of coordination as all controls are being used simultaneously. It's also a procedure encountered in real world helicopter operation. The purpose of the quick stop is to maintain a constant altitude heading and RPM while slowing the helicopter to a low ground speed or hover. It's necessary in aborted takeoffs or shallow high speed approaches where there is not much space available. Caution must be taken during a quick stop so that the tail does not strike the ground since this is normally a low altitude maneuver. The initial action is to apply aft cyclic to reduce forward speed and lower collective simultaneously reducing the power to the main rotor. As the desired attitude, altitude and speed are reached, the helicopter is brought to a hover.